What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. So for those of you who are not in communication with the community page, I wanted to come on and make an official announcement, which is a lot of you that really don't uh, participate on the community page. I wanted to come on and officially let you guys know that my mother has gone to heaven she went to heaven on Tuesday, May 16th at 9.30 p.m. She had a very peaceful passing. Um, she was surrounded by lots and lots of love and family members. Uh, a lot of her siblings were there. My sister, my nieces, my nephew, friends of the family. She was never alone. She always had multiple people around her at the same time so she had a very peaceful uh passing she um passed away from congestive heart failure um i'm coming along i think everybody is processing it in their own way uh, as for me i feel a mixed bag of emotions uh, sometimes it almost feels surreal that she has passed other times if uh, I feel like I need to keep busy so that I won't think about it as much but I think overall from my perspective and what I see from everyone else they are processing it in their own way um, everyone had their moments and everything but um, she has gone to heaven now and she was okay with that which made it much easier for me and okay for me to accept that she passed away um at the time she had taken her last breath i unfortunately was not there i had decided to take a break and go away from the hospital for a little bit and then my sister called me and told me that uh, she passed away and I immediately went back over to the hospital and uh, there were multiple, multiple people there. And we just kinda quietly sat around and was having a conversation and everything until it was time for us to uh, leave the hospital. Um, what else I wanted to say? Ah. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought all of a sudden. I did have some things in mind what I wanted to say to you guys, but it's kinda, it's kinda have left me now. Um, mm, good gracious, Anthony. Her funeral services, um, that's not what I wanted to say right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even think right now. This is awful. Um, Oh my goodness, I'm serious. I am losing my train of thought right now. Um, okay, let me let me just go to something else because my train of thought has completely left my mind right now. Um, my mother's funeral is Tuesday, May 23rd. I will post all the information in the description. I also, if you guys were like first let me just back up oh my goodness bear with me y'all please see i lost my train of thought again what was i was about to say oh my goodness okay anthony take a little minute here i did i lost my train of thought i had it all in my head how i was going to speak with you guys and and let you guys know everything Okay, let me just say this, and I know it's kind of off topic, but I'm going to put all the information in the description. If you guys, anybody would like to send me a condolence card or anything, you, my P.O. box will be there, and I'll get it from when I go back to PA, but um, that's that for that part. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All okay, right, so I am going to Canada um, after the funeral. The funeral is Tuesday. I'm going to, I'm leaving the next day, Wednesday. I'm going back to PA for one day and 
empty out my van, prepare my van so that I can go to Montreal, Canada. And I know a lot of people might say, oh, Anthony, Canada can wait, take your time, but I need to do it. I need to do it for me. I need to keep my mind going and keep busy doing things. So I need to do it for me. So I'm going to move forward with my Canada plans. And, but I did change the installation date of the kit until Friday instead of Thursday to give me that extra day to get my van prepped before I head to Canada the next day. Then from there, when I get that done at Canada, I'm coming back to Baltimore for uh, maybe a half a week or so. And then going to be starting up, going to the campgrounds and everything on June the 2nd. So I want to try to just keep it moving, you know? I just want to keep it moving. I don't want to feel myself standing still at any given time. And um, so I decided that I was going to continue on with the Canada trip because getting my van done is going to provide me with happy moments. And right now, especially after the funeral, I, I'm I, I would like I'm gonna like some some happy moments, you know. I'm gonna like some happy moments. So I'm looking forward to to doing that. Uh, funerals are never easy for anyone, um, but it is part of life. And hopefully, this funeral service will be a celebration of my mom's life, and it won't be too too sad you know I think funerals have changed since the past uh, years and years ago where everyone used to just fall out and you know it just the whole mood would be so sad I think now it's more of a joyous occasion it's more of celebrating that person's life with some really great music and talking speaking of talking i'm going to be reading the obituary at my mother's funeral pray that i get through it i think that i will i hope i can read <laughs> i get up there and probably can't read because i haven't read out loud in front of people and goodness probably since i was in school <laughs> So I hope I can read and get through it. Good <laughs> gracious. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, I wanted to do something at the funeral. I wanted to read something or do something. So pray that I get through it, you guys. Pray that I get through it. I think I will, though. Um, other than that, I, I want to really, really, from the bottom of my heart, thank all of you guys who have reached out and said, uh, sorry for my loss and sending your condolences and your concerns and everything i know prior to me in this video or prior to me making a post on the community page a lot of you guys were asking how was my mom doing and all of that i so so appreciate all of you guys support i mean i just cannot i'm overwhelmed at the foa community i am really overwhelmed at how you guys support the FOA community, support me personally. Um, you know, you hear this a lot about people saying, oh, my community is the best community. No, no, the FOAs are the best community because <laughs> the FOAs, we are genuinely, genuinely concerned of one another. And, and that makes all the difference in the world. So thank you guys so much for your support. I am going to try and put out another video prior to the funeral because once again, I need to do things to keep me busy. And I know you guys have told me in the community page comments to Anthony, take your time. We'll be here. We're not going anywhere. And I understand that, but I need to do it for me. It's not about me taking my time and processing everything. It's about me how I'm processing and how, how I'm keeping myself and my mind busy, you know. So with that being said, 
thank you guys once again. I'll put all of the information in the description, you know, and as always, my FOAs, my FOAs. Oh my goodness, I tell you, I tell you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you guys, you know that. I tell you that all the time. It's not just to say it, it's because I really, really appreciate the support that you guys are giving me, not just for this particular situation, but just the support in general. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Before I go, let me just say this. I hate wearing dress clothes. <laughs> I do. I hate wearing dress clothes. I have no dress clothes whatsoever. I'm going shopping either today or tomorrow. I feel so uncomfortable in dress clothes because I have the hardest time finding the right clothes. The, the, the pants are too long because I'm short, my, the shirts, I have no idea how to pick out dress shirts that fit. You know, you go by your neck, width of your neck, I mean the circumference of your neck. I, I always end up picking a shirt that's either too big up in here, the sleeves are too long. I mean, outside of the actual ceremony and funeral and the passing of my mom going to heaven, Dress clothes is the second worst. I cannot, I do not like wearing dress clothes. Then my feet is so small, I can never find shoes because I don't have any of those things. I live in my van. <laughs> I never had that many things anyway in the way of dress clothes because I just, whenever I needed them, I just went and bought something <laughs> and then I never wore it again. So cross your fingers that my shopping for an outfit goes a lot better than the past because uh, my short arms and short legs, it seems like everything is either too long, the sleeves. The, so I'm going to do my best to try to look as presentable as I can possibly get for my mother's funeral service. But I, I, I don't like wearing dress clothes. And I know that we're so off topic though, but it, it really, I just don't, you know, I just, I just don't, I don't like dress clothes. <laughs> I do know how to tie a tie though. I do know how to tie a tie. All right, let me get out of here. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.